tonight, the Ramp It Up campaign continues, changing the lives of people right here in our community who need a little extra help getting around. For an update on the progress, I'm joined by Ability First Accessibility Program Manager Kevin Ogden. Thank you for being here with us. Hi there. How are you? Tell us a little bit about Accessibility First. Well, uh, Ability, Ability First, First is one of 16 centers for independent living around the state, and um, all centers for independent living uh, work to provide services of all kinds to persons with disabilities of all kinds. Is the easiest way to put it. And tell us about how many people does Ability First have currently on its waiting list? Right now, for the ramp program, we have gone over 60 people that are waiting. Uh, we got quite a few inquiries after that first broadcast back when we built the ramp for Jordan last week. Um, and so, right now, I guess you could say demand is outstripping supply, and we're still kind of waiting for the community to kick in and, and to start seeing some donations coming in to us. And so, with all those people on the waiting list, how do you determine who gets their ramp and when? Well, it's, it's kind of a triage. You have to kind of look at who is being carried up and down their steps, literally, in a, mm -hmm. in a wheelchair to get to the doctor, um, or is basically trapped in their home and cannot get out to the community and work down from there to the people that have mobility issues related to um, either aging. About 75% of the people we serve are elderly mm -hmm. um, or uh, maybe use a cane or a walker but are not confined to a wheelchair. So it, because of having such a large waiting list, we really have to very carefully triage and, and prioritize who we build for and when. And how long are people on this waiting list? It can range from a couple months, even a few weeks sometimes, if it's something very you know, urgent in an emergency basis, um, to we've had people on the list for one to almost two years at times who have been very patiently waiting and knew that other people in greater need were being served ahead of them. And you mentioned the elderly population, but what other people and, and what kind of disabilities do you serve? It really runs the gamut. We have built ramps for people with MS, uh, Jordan, the fellow we, young man we built for, has muscular dystrophy. Uh, we built one from a, uh, for a young lady last year that had cerebral palsy. Most people, it's related to either neurological or spinal cord injuries or um, just mobility impairments of various kind, whether it's from some kind of uh, fracture. Uh, most of the time with, with people that are recuperating at home, we can use temporary ramps. But after about two steps, you need something bigger. And temporary ramps are only up to about 12 feet long, so they can only go so far. We were talking during the break about how after the uh, Jordan's feature came on and more people said, hey, we need these ramps, so the demand is there, but the resources, we need more resources to help. Exactly. And uh, I do want to very much uh, send out a, a big thanks to Big Ben Kiwanis and WTXL for, for joining forces in this effort. It came about by way of Kiwanis finding out we had a waiting list of over 50 people at the time uh, late last year. Um, and they will be reaching out in this coming month during the course of the fundraising drive. They are going to be reaching out to area businesses, other organizations like Rotary, who have been great partners with us, churches like Killarn United Methodist Church and First Baptist, who have been great partners to us also. So we have a lot of community support, but it needs to grow because of just the increased demand and the need that never seems to go away, really. And we're out of time, but real quick, I want to ask, for people out there watching, you say, I want to donate, I want to help. How can they do so? You can go to WTXL.com. Uh, There's a link to take you to our website. Uh, you can also go to AbilityFirst.info, and that's Ability1ST.info. There's a place on there with a Ramp It Up logo, and you can find out more about Ability First, as well as the Ramp It Up program, and there's a place to donate also. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us. And, of course, the Ramp It Up campaign continues throughout February, and we here at WTXL are proud to be a sponsor. You can find more information on the campaign on our website, WTXL.com. TV.